Electronic devices can be found discarded across Lome. To Sename Kofi though, these are a treasure trove. He scours landfills to find parts for a 3D printer he dubbed WA Fate 3D Printer. We discovered the potential that can address the backlog in Africa. So the main idea of this project is to have a machine that will enable us to revolutionize the industry in Africa. And since this machine was designed, we have entrusted it to young people to meet the challenges. It is a machine that is developed with several types of computer waste. Using melted plastic laid down in successive layers, all kinds of products are born. Another aspect that we develop around the 3D printer is making things much more symbolic and artistic. We've made a concept for NASA and currently we're working on a concept of production for an artistic work for a design school. The innovation has won Sename several awards. It also spurred him to launch a training program called 3D Printer Africa. The aim, he says, is to encourage young people to develop innovative devices from electronic waste. We already have 10 schools that are close to our company of manufacturing machines called Wolab. We go to these schools to teach 3D printing and then we plan to install these machines in these different educational institutions so that the children can experiment with them. We have 10 schools at the moment but the ambition is to extend this training to all the schools of Lome and the sub-region to enable Africa to prepare for a new industrial revolution. In a country where nearly 60% of the population lives in poverty and economic activities are centered around agriculture, Access to technologies is sure to have an extremely beneficial effect on the populace. Vic Chege, CGTN.